Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Artistic Intention Studios. Today I thought I'd do a waterfall, which is basically a tree ring with a tilted canvas. So the ring um, pours down the canvas. Uh, yeah, and it looks really cool. Um, the last time I did this, I let it dry that way, so it continued to, to slide off and it really changed a lot. Um, and a lot, some of the really cool stuff kind of ran off the end. So this time I think I might pour it in the uh, tilt and then once, once it's tilted to where I like it, I'll, I might prop it back up so it'll dry flat. Um, so I'm just going to start by layering my paints. Um, I'm going to use this permanent black from Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the white I use is a Dutch Boy interior paint. All of these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water um, just to get a the consistency that I like. And this is kind of an odd color to throw in here, but we're just gonna see what happens. This is uh, this fuchsia color, magenta color. It is Rouge by Master's Touch. So I'm going for kind of a fiery look, but I'm really low on red, so I thought that the intensity of that magenta paired with the red maybe might make up for the lack of, because I just don't know if I'm going to have enough red to go throughout this, this painting. And then this orange is also from Master's Touch. It's a little thick. Probably could stand some water in that. And this is a medium yellow from Master's Touch. And then I have a little bit of this um, gold that I had mixed previously. Actually, I need to stir that up a bit. It's been sitting for a while, but it's had a lid on, so it's fine. It's beautiful 24 karat by DecoArt, also mixed with float trawl and water. And this is going to add. A little bit of sparkle and bling. And then I'm going to start back with the black. Just going to layer this up again. So um, next weekend, this coming weekend, is my studio tour with my artisan group of Southern Illinois. Sorry if you hear the mower, my neighbors <laughs> mowing up the leaves. Of course, right by my build building, as soon as I start to film. <laughs> of course. Oh well. Really filling this to the brim. I want to make sure I got really good coverage. This is a 12 by 24 canvas probably my favorite size to work with. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be cleaning my studio and rearranging the paintings on the walls and making sure everything's priced and all of that stuff, but I thought, hmm. I haven't done a painting in a while and I'm feeling the need, so that's what we're doing. 
do that first and then <laughs> then I'll get to cleaning and all of that fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take a minute here to put these lids on and pop them in my tub just because uh, I don't want to knock any of them over. I'm notorious for making messes, it seems. Uh, yeah, two more to go here. Sorry about that, guys. So these are really cool colors. I don't know if it's going to give the fiery effect that I was after. But I still think it's going to be cool no matter what. And the cup is super full. It's overflowing as we speak. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to move these little props. And then I'm just going to start pouring right here in kind of a tree ring. The paint is going to drip down the canvas. It is going to be gorgeous. I'm sure of it. <laughs> more psychedelic than I had planned. There's a lot of that fuchsia in there. And that's okay. I don't care. Just kind of had fiery in mind, but like I said, my red was a little bit... Although here comes some red, and, and actually it's got that gold wrapping around it. Oh my goodness. This might just be pretty gorgeous. loving it so far. This is a really fun uh, method of pouring. If you haven't tried it, you totally should. Just really stretches those rings down. This is called a waterfall. Alright. So from here I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and start tilting a little bit because I want coverage from side to side and and back you know over this end here don't want to lose all my paint for sure really felt like I had a lot of paint there I hope hope it's enough to cover wow I'm glad I threw that gold in there it's really pretty try to get this side I have it hope not to lose too much paint off the back end here. Okay. Now I did tape the back of this canvas in hopes of um, keeping it a little bit cleaner and more professional looking on the back, just with um, regular masking tape. Not quite like the other ones, but I think maybe. I wonder if I put a base down first in the last time. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, I'm getting kind of a monarch butterfly look here, <laughs> which is pretty cool. going to try to spread this out so that my corners and edges all get taken care of and then I'm going to let it go ahead and let it drip some more down a bit of a mess here uh, the magenta has kind of blended in I see a lot of orange there's a lot of cells. I 
guess from the white and the uh, metallic, I suppose. That uh, 24 karat gold metallic is pretty amazing stuff. That's in the deco art. In any Hobby Lobby, probably Walmart probably has it. It's a really pretty um, gold. It really shimmers and shines and it plays well with others. Um, I was using one orange or gold that was um, just not playing well with others. It was, it blobbed all up in one area and it didn't spread throughout the drawing or the painting very well. Stumbling over my words, I'm sorry. So, Brooke G Artistry, Brooke suggested I try that gold from Deco Art. So, 24 karat gold. I'm a huge fan. Should definitely try it. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm just trying to roll some of this paint over the edges that I just touched up. I'm a little disappointed this isn't the effect that I was going for. Like I said, I think maybe I might have laid down some color first. It's been a while since I did this. Regardless, it's still a really fun technique. And you get some really cool results from it. Either way. But yeah. You should try it. better. It's very um, autumn looking, fall inspired. Really cool. Just going to pull it back to the center a little bit and also cover this other edge a bit that I kind of used my fingers to fix to spread the paint. some browns and oranges and kind of cool. I'm gonna leave it like this for a bit. Let it keep continue to move that direction. I'm gonna have one clean finger here. I'm gonna pause you, get my hands cleaned up, and then we'll go in for a close-up. Hang on just a second, guys. Alright, we are back. Here's an overall look at this painting. It's kind of funny, it's sort of dimpling and acting as if there's silicone in there. There is no silicone in this. Here is the lower right hand corner. Look at all the cells in there. Was not expecting that at all. Quite interesting. Um, and I will say that um, on the camera it's more pinks and yellows and greens. Um, to my eye it looks more brown and orange. You can see the gold in there, how it sparkles throughout. It's really cool, but it's really... Um, really selled up a lot and it's even kind of pulling away a little bit how from the canvas a bit like it does with silicone it puddles and sells and I don't know <laughs> that's crazy no silicone in this clean cup I didn't try to reuse a cup or anything just 
very odd. But you can see the gold and I mean I can understand why it's sailed up with the gold. And it looks really cool. It's got like outlined in black. Interesting. It's an interesting piece. Be uh uh interesting to see how it dries and I'm not gonna leave it like this overnight because it is still moving I want it to move enough to um, really exaggerate the the whole waterfall effect but I don't want it to all run off the end so I'm gonna keep my eye on it and when I get the desired look I will prop it up and we'll probably do a um, how did it dry episode on this guy in the next few days so thanks for stopping by hope you enjoyed this and please hit the like thumbs up button if you did subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends uh, leave me some comments I'd like to know what you think and yeah I hope you have a wonderful day we will see you again real soon. Till next time, guys.